Hey YouTube, it is Easy Prepper 101. Today, we're gonna give you a 2024 garden update of our garden and what we planted this year. And this first container we have here, this is a medium-sized pumpkin that we actually saved from the farmer's market last year. We actually cut it open, put the seeds in there. We're trying something new with that to see how well we can grow from seeds from a pumpkin. So trying to do something different. So um, excited for the pumpkins and see how they grow. So this is our squash. Uh, this year we decided to, instead of doing six, we ended up doing five uh, just because of how well they grow and stuff. And we're and with all the plants you're going to see in the boxes, we've actually added more nutrients and fresh soil to them all. Um, over the last few days, we have actually gotten hammered hard with a lot of rain. As you can see, some of the, the leaves have kind of turned yellow with a little bit of brown. So we'll be kind of um, fixing those or getting rid of them. So these are zucchinis, as you can tell, they are not looking so hot from the amount of rain that we have gotten uh, a little worried. Um, these two here, um, I think they might be okay with some fresh ones, but we're going to wait and see. Um, probably by this week and we'll know if they're going to survive or not. And if we have to, we're going to go out and get more. This are going to be our peas like we've done every other year. So we're excited to see how these do. All right, so these are our tomatoes. We went with three this year. Uh, that is our big beef in the left, two Roma. And you can see our basil is not doing good with the amount of rain we've gotten over the last um, week or so. So hopefully um, we can get some warm weather to hopefully it perks up. If not, might have to buy another basil plant. So this is a mini cucumber plant that we actually picked up at our farmer's market for, and it was like nine bucks. And as you can see, we already have one that's probably ready to pick. And then the other one is probably about another couple days away. But we wanted to try something different. My wife loves mini cucumbers and we haven't had much success over the last few years with cucumbers. So we're giving the plant the try and also to we put the mini cucumber with the rain that we've gotten in our uh, potato box. Um, we're going to be planting um, sweet potatoes. We haven't had a chance to plant them just yet because we want to see with all the rain we've gotten. And now we're kind of glad we haven't planted them yet. And the ones we're going to have in here is, we, this is where we usually have done our cucumbers, but these are going to be another type of a pumpkin. This is, they're called Jack B. Little. So hopefully we'll be able to get some um, smaller pumpkins and hopefully do better than what we've done in the past with the cucumber. And then we have here, we have two peppers. We have an orange and a yellow pepper. So, cause we love peppers to make so many things for just vegetables and Philly and chicken and cheese sticks and whatever, but we're really excited about the, the peppers this year. And we have our eggplant box that we do every year. So we're excited about the eggplant, hoping for a great season of eggplant because, you know, growing them, making your own eggplant parm or whatever you're going to make with your eggplants, they're just so good when you make them. And we're going to also be watching to make sure that we don't have to put any diastromaceous earth in there because of the ant stuff that we've had in the past. And we're going to be wrapping this video up for you here, showing our raised bed that we got last year from Costco. These are going to be beans, so we're trying something different in this box right here. So we're going to hopefully get some great beans this year. Then we have some lunchbox red um, small peppers that were hopefully they're going to turn out good. And then these are two sweet bell peppers that hopefully going to, you know, we're really trying to beef up our pepper game this year. And then up top here, <clears throat> we have our rain barrel catching system. Um, had a, With all the rain, they've been full. And as you can tell from all the boxes, they're super wet and should not have to really water for a couple days so but anyways but this is our 2024 garden hopefully um, you guys got your plants in and rocking and rolling and if you have write those down below and if you really want to kind of see how they're doing kind of on a week-to-week -week basis uh, check out my Instagram I'll be posting a lot of pictures there you know maybe once or twice a week for that well write in the comments below if you guys like the garden and maybe if there's something that you guys have added to your garden I would love to see that down below Hit the thumbs up if you like this video, and if you haven't, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys so much. We will catch you guys down the road.